using this one at my table was smaller, huh? It was a lot smaller, so. You see how, like, this is just like pushing back for the nail fold? I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. This bit right here is just perfect for just prepping. Get you that mesh, get you around these corners, push this to the skin, get right in the skin. You won't cut the client, just push everything back. And you can use nippers to nip it later if you want to. I'm just gonna use my ball bit from the kit. Where them glasses at? I wish. Still not in frame. There you go. Zoom out a little bit. There you go. I'll zoom in when I do other stuff. So let's go with the ball bit. This bit will allow me to kind of smooth out that excess skin that we had issues with. If there's a lot of a little too fast. that excess skin you're just gonna use this all bit just kind of get rid of it or use nippers to nip that's fine too on the Russians be doing it um just be wary that if your client's not used to getting their nails done and you're doing this part it might be a little sensitive they might feel a little pain so just be wary okay not everybody's it goes dry and they will be removed like this. So always ask your client how they feel if this is too sensitive. First time doing it, you definitely shouldn't be doing it. So there's the prep process. Of course, I don't have a duster brush. The one thing I forget is my duster brush. I'm gonna be using the square paper tip. So these tips are pretty much flat, but they're square and they're tapered already. Good 2XL, there's 3XL versions. I'm just gonna glue this stuff up. Get our glue. Fan over here. You ever go live on TikTok? I might. I should. I have our creators go live on TikTok. I just love the Facebook community. This allows it to be shared and stuff like that. Plus, So our fingers are actually pretty straight except for this one. You gotta be careful when you're putting the nails on. I'm always gonna pick the straightest finger. Just this, let's put the nails on. And size it up. Generally three fingers are the same size. Sometimes this is the larger size. So, I found it. I'm gonna put a little glue and let's just go from the knuckle out. Make sure it's nice and straight. Now I'm gonna use this as a guide for all these other fingers. So I'm gonna hold this finger like this, and I'm gonna take this. You see how this finger is kind of slanted this way? I'm gonna make one slight adjustment. She has a lot of, you know, a normal size nail plate, but there are clients out there that their nail plate. That's fine. These tips 
actually are really good with um, adhesion. They heal really well um, with the glue. That's why it glues on so fast. You have to know that putting the tips on, I know it, it may not matter to some clients because they have a lot of natural nail plate, but some clients don't have a lot of natural nail plate. And you want longer retention, you want more of the product on the natural nail plate than the tip to be on the natural nail plate. One of the biggest misconceptions is that, oh, you know, this, I glue a lot of tip on there, so it's gonna be nice and, you know, strong, stay on longer. It's been a while since I've done a client, so I was like, I realized that not every client has pretty fingers, just like I said earlier. So if you guys notice that promo code there, we, uh, every live on us at a 10 limit promo code, 25% off for the viewers to pick up any of their beauty supplies, acrylics, or anything like that. So after 10 use, every live, so kind of a giving back to my viewers. I thought it was a good idea, so I'm gonna do it. It should be pinned there, right? Yep, 10 uses only. Sounds like a Black Friday sale. It's a good time to pick up your gel liners or your acrylic collection, for sure. Alrighty, alrighty. And we're done. So that took me about 20, 15, 20 minutes there. From prep to applying the tips. Uh, well, it would take me less short of time if I wasn't live streaming, but I'm not gonna co complain about that. That's the second I'm gonna take. I'll make it up later on. one finger I always measure cuticle to cuticle give myself some space that's how you get perfect length on each nail okay because not every client's gonna have the same size not every nail is gonna have the same nail base okay as you notice her pointer finger is a lot smaller her her um, middle finger so if you cut the tip based on how much tip you're cutting you're never gonna be even especially the pinky so how small this is so you have to kind of gauge it Cuticle to cuticle from your finger. But this will show up later when you take pictures. One of my biggest pet peeve when I see pictures and nails are like not the same size. Oh, thumb is uh, arguably just get it around the same length. So now I know for a fact that every one of these has the same length. Cuticle to cuticle. That will allow me to just match. And this makes it easy for me. I always cut a little longer just because I've cut to cut more. Don't go overboard and cut too short, then you have to go back and cut the other one short and rinse and repeat. So give yourself you know, room, room to breathe in case you mess up. See, I'm just gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna cut it. I don't know exactly how much to cut. I'd rather cut more than have to, you can't add on more. So if you match both hands together like this, it means that both hands are the same length.
want to dehydrate, this is a good time for you to dehydrate. I just do my primer. And I don't really don't have to blend the tips because there's really not that much there to blend. That saves me time there. You can blend your tip if you want to. I don't see it being an issue. Make sure you get the primer on the nail. too much guys this jar the standard jar is 30 milliliters half of it is 15 trust me when I say so we're gonna go within the clouds and we're gonna hit up our application okay 